Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Double honors to our elders and apostles, the great millstone that rule well and taught us this truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad, preaching his word and this doctrine and truth, honesty, and sincerity. Shalom. On the Bullet Chakam from the Great Millstone Mammy Camp, coming back once again through the Spirit to make this video and this lesson. I love wouldn't it be edifying. So I got an article here pulled up from jweekly.com, um, which goes into the J-ish news. All right. And um, there's a title here. That says, and Rabbi on the block, meet the first woman to become a Hebrew Israelite rabbi. Okay. And here she go right here. And she goes by the name of Rabbi Tamar Manesse. Okay, which looks like to be an Eve. A so-called black woman. Which is now the first woman to become a Hebrew Israelite rabbi. Now, let's get into the article. If the Jewish community ever wanted to have a relationship with the black community, I am the bridge that they want to cross to get there, said the so-called Rabbi Tamar Manesse. Says in the new blog documentary, Rabbi on the Block. So it looks like there's a documentary here that they're filming and she's taking part um, in it. Okay, this Eve is taking part in this film and this documentary, and she's being she's taking on a role as a rabbi. Okay. Now I'll continue reading. Manessa is the indefatigable anti-violence activist in Chicago whose story has been told in numerous articles as well as in They Ain't Ready For Me, a documentary that played at the virtual San Francisco J-ish Film Festival in 2020. A striking photo of Manessa wearing a t-shirt in the colors of the Pan-African flag and quote she brew on a grace on the cover of J in July 2020th. So she's calling herself a Hebrew Israelite. Now this is going off already. This is going the hell off. And what is Hebrew? Hebrew's not even a word. I found a picture actually of her. And here she go right here. Now there's some couple things going on here. Which I'm gonna bring it up now. I'll bring the scriptures in shortly. This is the picture that they're referring to. They ain't ready for me, Shebrew. All right, here comes the uh, the so called rabbi Eve, the Shebrew Israelite, wearing pants. So she's going off already with a cross necklace, and I don't know what that other thing is in there. But take a look at this. Red Shield Pictures and Three Generations present They Ain't Ready For Me. Featuring who? The self-proclaimed woman, the black woman rabbi. Directed by what? <laughs> Y'all see it, Brad Rothschild. Okay, that's why it says Red Shield Pictures. Produced by Brad Rothschild. Produced by Brad Rothschild and Connor Callista. You can't make this shit up. So this is this is an Amalek directing this uh this abomination. And it's not just any Amalek Amalek. It's a Rothschild, a red shield. Oh look at that. It says red shield pictures. So it's a damn Amalekite that is directing this film. Okay. And through the spirit, we know that he's doing that on purpose. 
See, these damn Amalekites, man, they know that this is going off. They know that we are the chosen people. The so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are the chosen people. And Amalek is wittily knowing this, that women are not supposed to teach. And he's pushing this on purpose because he knows that is an abomination to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. But I'm going to finish reading real quick and then I'll get the precepts. It turns out that Manessa and that right there Brad Rothschild have more to say, a lot more. So it's a damn Amalekite that is directing this abomination. And here he goes right here. BR with the red shield. Rothschild, red child. He's a director, producer based in New York City. His focus is telling comp compelling stories about the human condition. Damn devil right there. So this is going the hell off. All right. See, the scriptures tells us women are not supposed to be teaching in the churches. All right. Women are supposed to be in kept silence. And not just that, but this shit ain't, this shit ain't um, much more different than a loud quiche in a restaurant being loudmouthed with a damn crab leg in her mouth and butter dripping down her, her neck. This is actually worse because this woman, all right, if she's a self-proclaimed rabbi, she needs to have a thorough understanding of the scriptures. But here she is trying to teach a congregation. Look at that. With a hat on. Oh, man. Going the hell off. Let's get the precepts. Because the Lord, <clears throat> you see the Lord, um, the Lord gave us the instructions, okay? When it comes to this, um, when it comes to these certain uh, abominations and how to go about them, okay? 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 34. Let your woman keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. Hmm. Isn't this a rabbi? Isn't she supposed to know the law? But she's not. And she got her hair covered too. So this woman is not supposed to be teaching, all right? This so-called rabbi is not supposed to be teaching any congregation whatsoever. She's supposed to be kept in silence. All right. And being under subjection of her husband. So what's going on there? You know, all we had to all we had to see was who's that right there or that. And we already know that. <laughs> We already know what's going on. This is um First Timothy chapter two verse twenty five. Let's start at eleven. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, but I suffer not a woman to teach nor to observe authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. Right. So, you know, to back up 1 Corinthians, hey, women are supposed to be, um, be kept silent in the churches, man. They're not supposed to be reading scriptures. They're not supposed to be teaching any congregations. This is, they're supposed to be in order and in silence. Okay, because every single time, oh, you know, one of these <clears throat> Keisha opens her mouth is none but abominations. All right. If it's not a woman of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, any crap that a woman gotta say out of her mouth, hey, just it's an abomination. Alright? And the men of the Lord, the true men of the Lord, ain't wanna hear it. Okay. So what is this woman doing? What are you doing? Hmm? One mother, one corner, one mission? Tamar Manasseh, the so-called Shebrew rabbi, huh? Confusion. Confusion and wicked. This is wicked as hell. All right? This is wicked. And where's her husband at? 
She needs to have a husband. She's supposed to be under her husband. She's not supposed to be teaching no churches, man. Genesis 3 verse 16. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and they, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. So she's supposed to be under her husband. It's not supposed to be the other way around. But we understand, you know, through the curses, you know, because really it was Jake that went off, you know. Jake went off, so, you know, the curses, uh, you know, that had to come about. And part of those curses is women will shall rule over thee. I shall make a new thing on this earth. A woman shall come past a man. All right. But, you know, going into, uh, you know, just to break this down. Um, it, it was since um, since uh, Eve sinned, all right, a curse of that was labor uh, labor pains. You know, when, when women go into labor, that is actually a curse that the Most High put on all the women, starting, uh, you know, with Eve, <clears throat> on down to all the, um, you know, the, the women, because they committed sin, all right, but there shall be no labor pains in the kingdom. But nonetheless, all right, the scripture says, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. Okay? So the man is above the woman, not the other way around. Thus said the Lord. Okay? Not the other way around. So, you know, really she's just, that, that, that's how you know Eve, man. Eve, Eve is, um, is Esau's little pit bull, man. That's what she is. Eve is Esau's pit bull. Okay? Because Amalek knows that. Amalek knows that, you know, the woman is not supposed to be teaching. And he knows that she's an Israelite. Through the spirit, I believe that she's an Israelite. Okay? And he's doing that on purpose to push what? Confusion and wickedness and deception. But through the spirit of Pahyahabashi Melshai... We're going to clear the air out, man. We're going we're gonna to air this thing out, man, through the Spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is the Most High. Hmm. So there's that divine order of things, all right? It starts with the Most High Heavenly Father, Yahweh, on down to his beloved son, Yahweh Shai, then the man, then the woman. Okay? The Most High is not the author of confusion, so the Lord has set up already everything in His divine order. Okay? And, and, and she should know that. But she's willingly, she should know that, so she's willingly going off. This damn wicked ass Shebu Israelite is going off, man. Verse 4 Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, Dishonoreth his head, but every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head covered, dishonoreth her head, for that is even all one as she were, as if she were shaven, right? Because the glory of the woman is her hair. So, which means uh, when women pray, they need to have their head covered, or when they are foretelling future biblical events, they need to have their head covered. Nonetheless, women should not be teaching any congregation whatsoever or teaching any churches. Got the menorah on there, which, which looks like it's missing a um, candle. Because if there's three on this side, there's three on that side, it's missing a candle. More confusion. So, you're going the hell off, man. She, she needs to repent. Rabbi Tamar Manessa, if you see this video, you need to repent, all right? Stop trying to teach the congregation. You are women. Women are not meant to be teachers. If you're going to teach, you teach your children. If you're going to learn, you learn under your husband. Or the man of the Lord, the true man of the Lord. If you choose to continue to be disobedient, then guess what? The Lord is just going to have to deal with you through judgment, okay? You're going to have to eat a nuke. Verse, verse 6 again, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 6. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. For it be a shame for a woman to be shorn 
or shaven. Let her head, let her be covered. Let's get the NLT. Yes, if she refuses to wear a head covering, she should cut off all her hair. But since it is a shameful for a woman to have her hair cut or her head shaved, she should wear a covering. Okay. So, what's going on here? What's going on there? All right. So this is completely this this is going off complete abomination, complete wickedness. This is wicked to the max. All right, and, and really, you know that's how you know we at the end of this thing. So women are not supposed to be teachers, man. That's up to the men. You leave that to the to the prophets, okay? Starting with the one hundred and forty four thousand, man, which are prophets. You leave those to the one hundred and forty four thousand. You need to be subjection under your husband. I try to be teaching no congregation. What's wrong with you? Look, it says congregation in Chicago. She's teaching congregations in Chicago, confusing other Israelites out there. I'll get one more and I'll close out with this one. Revelation chapter 21, verse 3. And I heard a great voice. Out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. It says men, not women. Men. And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And the Most High himself shall be with them and be their God. Okay? Because the 144,000 are men. Okay? That's why the nation of Israel had kings that were men. Noah was a man. The 12 apostles, men. All right. The prophets, men. The priests were men. The 144,000 which are walking and roaming the earth today, preaching this word, are men. Okay. You know, and, and you women that are in order, and this is not for you. All right. If you women are in order, you know, but this is just for these these wicked ass demons, all right? This demon demonic woman calling herself a rabbi, and not just top of that, she's calling herself a Shibu Israelite, trying to teach a congregation. All right. So this is this is the state of wickedness of the nation of Israel, where women are being put in positions of. Of, of, of power which does nothing but cause confusion, man. Confusion at, 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 its, at its finest right here. Look at that. Look at that. Got a, is that, that got a cross and, and a star of David right there. Can't get any worse than that, man. If you see this video tomorrow, man, so you need to repent. Straight up. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Until the next one, Shalom.